What's up everyone? Welcome back. In the last video, I was kind of teasing you guys. I was doing something and like uh, the headliner section of the car. So in this video, the title pretty much already gave it away, but we're taking the sunroof out. We're getting rid of the sunroof. I use it, but at the same time, I'm still trying to get into the 11s. And what better way to try to make a car faster without adding performance mods or power mods? Wait. So that sunroof's got to go on. Almost positive that sunroof, the whole assembly, not just the glass, the whole assembly is roughly 40 to 50 pounds. I was really close with the uh, the heater box weight. Let's see how close I am with this because we have to weigh this. Uh, so let me show you where I'm at. So I pretty much got the headliner out, all the plastics. In order to get this out, you need to get rid of, uh, obviously, your visors, all your lights. That's all just bolted in. These look the hooks for your visors. These are kind of like a half turn kind of thing. So you'll put it in sideways, lock it, and then when you want to take it out, turn it a half turn, and then they drop out. So that's out. You need to take all your plastic panels off of this section because these they kind of hold it up there. So I just took them all off. Just there's more stuff I need to do back there. And then there's gonna be a little trim ring around this section you just literally pull that off if i find it in there i'll show you but uh i got a lot of stuff going on right now but we're at this point now where we can see our sunroof i've dropped this before obviously when i colored this section right here this was just a fabric paint that i did and this fell on me <clears throat> excuse me because this is heavy for one person so I'm waiting for Jay to show up. He's going to give me a hand. We're going to knock this out because I've never done this plug. And I'm going to show you the plug. It's going to be involved a little bit. But when we get to it, I'll, oh, I'll give you a rundown right now. You're going to take the, uh, the drains off. So these are just little clamps you could just do by hand. So you'll just squeeze it. And then you'll wiggle them off. And then you could just pull these drains off. So you're going to pull all four drains off. Uh, you're going to undo the electrical connector for the motor right there. And if I remember correctly, all you're going to have is tens left over. So you can see you got two tens in the front right there. You got one in this corner, another one in that corner, and then the same two on those. And then this whole assembly drops down. You could take the glass off. With it, so you'd pop the glass off halfway, then you'd have a screw here, a screw here, same thing. So you'd have four screws, or maybe it's three. I don't remember. So you could tilt it up, take the glass, and then drop this whole assembly. But because I'm going to have a hand, I'm just dropping this all as one unit. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all. And then I think once we get this section out, I see bolts holding the motor and everything there. I'm not sure if those have to come down as well for this, but I'll show you guys when we get to that point. I took those two. I took this one out here, so it's hanging. You took the, that? Yeah, those two right. this one off. This one I'm gonna loosen just a little bit. Yeah, it's already coming out. That way it doesn't. So Jay showed up. He's already gotten started. Uh, looks like after looking at this a little bit more, this motor, Definitely is gonna have to come with it because everything is all attached to that So he's already gone ahead and started loosening up the tens back there and the tens on his side and You can see well go ahead Jay, give it a little wiggle It's already starting to get loose. So now we're gonna come on my side Take these and this is coming down. So this literally to drop this literally takes you like two minutes It's it's really quick, but you definitely need a hands. So let me put this down. And we're gonna get this out Okay, you got it? Got it? Let it go? I don't 
I don't have it. <laughs> You're just that strong. So it wasn't as heavy as I thought it was the first time, I guess, because I had help. But we got the sunroof out. That was fairly easy, and it did need to come out in, uh, with everything. I want to show you guys what is going in its place. So Jay is holding my North Winds composite carbon fiber sunroof plug. So this is a plug that North Winds composite make. I'll leave their Instagram down below. They were gracious enough to want to jump on board and get on with this. I found them by chance and they have they pretty much make a lot of car carbon fiber sunroof plugs and they're cut to basically fit to replace the glass. So they're not those kind of plugs that go over and you're going to dremel or drill holes and rivet them or screws whatever. This is a pretty much a replacement plug, real carbon fiber. Now it is going to need some trimming. These are not perfect. You know, they're all made off of a car, off of some templates. I mean, he also told me it needs to be clear coated because there's some sort of coating on them. Resin. Is it a resin? It's a resin. I can see Jay's reflection so clear on camera right now, though. It looks crazy like it doesn't need to be clear coated. But that's going to get taken care of after I get all this going. So I already made a, a two marks here, as you can see. Those two black marks. It is kind of tight here. It doesn't fit. So I'm going to start trimming all this and get it to where it pretty much, uh, I don't want to say falls in and out, but it fits, it sits flush. So we're going to do a couple marks here, trim, and then I'm going to be putting some brackets underneath and uh, tying it in somehow. I still don't know. I know how I'm going to do the front. I have that little lip right here. I'm going to put some riv nuts on the front with a bracket coming down. I know how I'm doing that. The back, I need to figure out, and the sides, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to add a riv nut and uh, put a, uh, like an L bracket, and it's going to hold it there. And then to finish it off, I'm going to be putting a molding around, just a universal molding. And that's going to be it. But it's right now, it's going to be a lot of test fitting. So let's, uh, we're going to do a lot of cutting off camera. And when I'm ready, we'll come back when it's all, it's, it fits nice. We've been in and out of the garage about four or five times, but we finally got it to sit nice and tight without any uh, bracket supports on it. It's just sitting pretty much really snug, which I like. Uh, we ended up using a Dremel tool with like the little Rolock discs on it and just then you could kind of see the marks. You know, we're making marks where we need to adjust. So we're in now. Uh, I did say I'm going to throw like a, a gasket on the top of this, so I'll get to that at the end, but yeah, I don't have any brackets here now, so I'm kind of stuck where, uh, where I can't really do nothing else. So I think what I'm going to start doing now is, uh, let's see if I could pull the drains out. I don't need that anymore. Um, yeah, I'll pull the front drain out. See what I need from here. I no longer need the motor wiring on it. Oh, you know what I could do? Let's grab a scale and let's weigh that. All right, so we got the sunroof here. What's your guess? Um, I don't know, I really didn't lift it. Okay, so let me lift, all right. I would say 24 pounds. It was really close when me and Carl took the heater box. I said 30, and I think it was like 27. I'm trying to remember what it felt like when I was lifting something at the gym. <laughs> yeah, that's why I lift 35s, but it felt, I don't know, it felt heavier. So 36. 36? Let me see. Give me the camera. All right. Oh, I curl 35s. So, yeah, you're right. It might be like. 35, 36? I'm going to say 36. I want to say try, 36? I want to try I'm to I'm going to say 33. So we're in the 30s. All right. All right. All right. Go, so All right, go ahead. You put it on. No, go. no. You put it on. 
<laughs> I don't know if this is going to turn the scale on though. You know, last time I forgot to bring the scale inside and Nicole found it in the garage. Oh. <laughs> okay. What? It says 28, but that's because it's leaning on you. But why does it have a 2.8? What's that 2? I don't know, it's not even set to, to pounds. Alright, let me stand on it. Let's see if I can. I stood on it, it said 130 something, and I'm 180. Look, not even working now. We'll change the setting. Kilogram pounds. There, okay, we, there go. we go. I don't know okay. what that was set to. Alright. Thirty. Thirty. I said thirty-one at one point, so I was the closest. So I win. Yeah, no, you're definitely closer. I I thought this was more than thirty. I thought this was fifty, honestly. So thirty. Wait, fifty, but you guessed thirty. No, no, before I lifted it. Oh. oh. I, I thought this was a lot more than. All right, so this is thirty. I remember the box was thirty. So at this point, we're at about sixty pounds. I took out of the car so far. That's I really bad. want to try to get a hundred. I'm trying to get you in the light because you're oh, my bad. super dark. My bad, my bad. Well, we'll just put this here. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I, I have other ideas to cut weight out, but it's not going to be th this and the box were the biggest ones that I was going to do. So let's show them how it looks. I showed them already. Oh, yeah, well, like, I wasn't even here. That's like weird. you were inside. Yeah, That's I pretty much got that. And then I was saying how we're kind of stuck because the brackets didn't, are not here yet. But Amazon just showed up. I got brackets, uh, but I don't have epoxy because I need to glue it to the sunroof. Mm. I, I'm drilling it to the body, but I need to glue it to the But you plug. can't glue it until we clear it anyways. I would still. It's at the bottom. I'm not worried about the bottom. But I'm saying you, you gotta, you're going to clear that while it's on the roof? No, no, no. I, I'm, it's bolted. So the, the glue, the, the brackets are glued on the bottom. Then I could just take the sun with that. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you just wanted to bolt it and then leave it where it sits. No, no, no. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we'll make some marks. We'll drill the brackets into where I want to put the, <clears throat> the nut certs. And that's just, I'll have to go out and get some glue. All right, let's do that. Update time. Like I said, Amazon showed up. So I've been cracking away, getting all these uh, rib nuts in, like I was talking about. And I got three out of the four. So I'm going to show you guys my idea. I took the plug out so I can, you know, drill them a little better. So that's the last, okay. that's the last one I still have to do, but I have one there, one here with my bracket, and then I have the other one right over here. So here's the brackets I got. These literally, I got them off Amazon. Um, they're just adjustable L brackets. I had to put this one in the vise to give it a, a different bend. They came 90 degree already, but I needed to open it so that way it would sit nice uh, and flat on our plug. But I really like these because of the amount of adjustability I got. So you can see how much adjustment I can get to really dial in the, uh, the sunroof plug. All of this, I mean, I could cut it if I wanted to, but I like it because it's going to it's going to give uh, the plug some more stability. And like I was telling Jay, I'm just going to be epoxying this. To the plug so that's there jay's actually going ahead and replacing my rear speakers for me uh, he ran into the issue where most of the time the speakers are universal so i don't like just kind of plugging them in or soldering them i hate soldering stuff so i just showed him how to use some universal connectors that i have over there and he's making two new connectors for me so that way these speakers now are plug and play and not just kind of like Twist it together. Let me show you. Like a G, boy. See, when you get speakers, you know, they'll have the little uh, slots on them right there. And then they'll give you this universal little jumper harness. You plug it there. And then if you guys want a butt connector or whatever, I want my stuff always to be, I don't want to say quick disconnect, but always easily accessible. So I have this universal kit that I bought from eBay many years ago. And they're just, you know, I think they go up to, what is it, four pin connector. So it's one, two, three, four pin connectors, and Jay's setting all that up so that way this would go onto the speaker, 
We have one connector in here, and then on the body side of the car, he cut the OEM one off, because those don't fit with those. And then he'll have the other side of the connector, and boom, quick connect like that. So he's taking care of that for me. Then after that, I'm gonna put the plug in, try to get the adjustment where I want, and then I'll have to go get some epoxy off camera. Some time has passed, Jay had to go, he had to take care of some other stuff today. And I wanna show you where we're at. I think this is gonna be the stopping point in at least this video. And so I, I gotta figure out a few more things about finalizing this plug. Uh, so let me show you the stopping point that I'm at and what my thought process is at the moment. So I had taken the plug, uh, the plug out to put the brackets and everything, the, the rib nuts. The plug is back in. It's sitting on the brackets right now. I want to, you know, want you guys to see my idea, uh, actually how it works. So as you can see, I got the the plug, uh, the plug, the bracket there, one there, the other one here, and then we have the fourth one right up here. So now you kind of get what I was saying, how these uh, L brackets are just going to hold it up like that, and then I have all this room for adjustment to get my. Uh, my gap almost perfect as you can see it's pretty much perfect here uh the back i still need to figure out a solution but overall i was already playing with adjustments on this a little bit earlier and i just need to figure out what i'm gonna do there because i still want some sort of support uh an issue that i just realized and i didn't realize i was going to run into this issue before was i have nowhere to put my lights now uh both of the front lights there and then the center light which is that big one they all bolted on to the sunroof itself the whole uh, bracket assembly so like here for the rear light it mounted here that's what that bolt hole and that bolt hole is for and then the uh the two front lights they bolted into here so I technically have no interior lights right now. I need to come up with a solution for that. I'm gonna head out right now to AutoZone to get the epoxy so you can see I'm just gonna epoxy these brackets onto that plug there so that way this, is, this can always be removed. Uh, I never like to permanently mount anything. I have a gasket I need to lay down but I wanna get this situated first. The gasket's gonna be like the last thing I lay down. Jay finished my speakers for me, so the speakers are wired up and the back of the interior is all put together. So coming back to the list, we technically didn't finish it, but we're almost done. So I'm going to go with the uh, half. And I, yeah, I did the wrong one. Look at that. <laughs> we're going to go half. Okay, so we're half done with the carbon plug, not the coilovers. We haven't even gone to that yet. I <laughs> wasn't even paying attention speakers the rears are done i have new ones for the front door as well so this is going to be the same thing so i'm going to go with a half cross and um i think that's it so i'm gonna leave you guys here big shout out to northwind composites for the sunroof plug and for helping the channel out make sure you guys give them a follow i left the link before or i left their instagram before here somewhere so like their pictures follow them show them the support that they showed us in the channel I'm pretty sure they have other plugs, like obviously the RSX, they're doing HN plugs. I think some Nissans they've done as well, but just go check them out. Let them know that you saw their product on Surge Motive Garage and they'll hook you guys up. I think that, I mean, obviously I said that's where I'm leaving you guys for today. In the next video, I should have that whole plug finalized and some sort of solution. And once this is done, because this was more of the... I'm not sure how this was going to go. That's why I wanted to knock this out first. What's coming up next is going to be all the suspension and stuff. And that's bolt out. Unbolt, bolt back in, bushings, all that. that that's pretty much straightforward. So we're going to get into that. And hopefully we can make it to Honda Day. So drop it in the comments if you're going to be at Honda Day in Maryland. I'm really hoping to be there with the car. I think even if the car is not ready, which it should, it should be, I'll still be there. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay motivated and keep making those streets louder.